like any town, Dalton has its share of problems. Tonight we meet a man who is trying to fight drugs and gangs in his hometown. It's a world this pastor knows all too well. Tonight, WDEF News 12's Amy Catcher shows us Larry Styles' ministry in our town, Dalton. Yeah, this is me. Larry Styles could never picture what path his life would take. I figured I'd be dead by now. You know, I, I didn't, you know, I just figured that, you know, I'd either be in prison or dead. The Dalton resident spent years of his life in the Whitfield County Correctional System, first as a prisoner, now as preacher. I can just see myself in them, you know, because I was there. The first time Styles found himself on the wrong side of the law, he was only 15 years old. Arrested there for burglary and was uh, sentenced to five years. He added contributing to the delinquency of a minor, an automobile violation, and three misdemeanor drug charges to his rap sheet. Most of the arrests came when he was a drug selling member of a Dalton street gang called the Rat Hole Gang. I finally had somebody accept me for who I was, you know. After being on the run and living in a tent for five months, Styles' last arrest came in August of 1981. While in jail, he met a Gideon named Frank McCarty. He told me that even though that I was behind bars, that God could set me free on the inside. That conversation sunk in. Styles studied his Bible day and night. He even kicked his drug habit. And I knew then all I had to do was just trust God and not try to figure it out, not worry about it, just let him handle it. Styles was baptized in October of 1981 while he was still a prisoner. He says divine intervention got what could have been up to a 20-year sentence in jail to 13 months served. Now he devotes his life to God. Try to let them know that, you know, that that's not what God intended for their life, to be in jail. Every Monday and Tuesday evening, he helps other drug addicts and gang members here at the Whitfield County Jail see the light. In Zalton, Amy Catcher, WDEF News 12. Styles was granted a full pardon in 1997 and was given the right to carry a service weapon. He worked as a security guard for the Walnut Square Mall for 11 years, works as a civilian police officer, served as director of the Open Door Museum, and works as an assistant chaplain.